The Silverfast Job Manager is a productive tool to effectively scan any number of images. The Job Manager is opened from the vertical toolbar, bringing up the Job Manager dialog window consisting of a file pop-up for managing the different job files. The individual image files queue overview. The job manager tools for adding a single image frame. Adding all image frames. Deleting a job entry. Editing parameters of the selected job entry. In edit mode, copy parameters from the current image to additional selected images. Select all job entries. Below is the button for the output settings dialog showing the current file path below. To transfer an image of the active frame into the job manager just click onto the single frame transfer icon and a small dialog will appear asking whether auto adjust or a special settings will be used. Click OK and a thumbnail will appear in the Job Manager queue. Each entry in the Job Manager queue will show the file name, the sharpening, image size and scaling, final image resolution and file size, in addition, beside the thumbnail, we see a symbol for auto-adjust and color mode, RGB, CMYK or LAB. Now we want to transfer all frames into the job manager and click onto the transfer all frames button. The small adjustment dialog appears. We click OK and we see thumbnails of all frames in the job manager queue. If we want to change parameters of any one frame, we select the thumbnail in the job manager queue and click onto the edit button. Now we can for instance input a name and change the output size to 8 by 5.5 inches. Click on to save and the parameters are updated in the job manager queue. In order to transfer the output size change to all frames, we click the select all frames button and the copy parameters button. We see a list of parameters that could be copied. We select Scale, so all frames will get the same enlargement and click OK. Now all entries in the job queue have the same enlargement. We leave the edit mode by clicking onto the edit mode button again and open the output settings dialog. Here we select the file format, the file name, with numbering, in case we have not given every frame a name, and the number of digits for indexing. We select two digits here. Last, we create a new folder for our scan files or select an existing one. Before we start the batch scan, make sure all files are selected in the job queue. Now we click Start and the job manager starts to do the first scan.